What is an arithmetic progression? In this video, I'll be teaching you everything you need to know about arithmetic progression and we'll start right now. everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your MS skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at what is arithmetic progression. What is an arithmetic progression? An arithmetic progression is a sequence of numbers such that the difference between the consecutive terms is constant. For instance, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on is an arithmetic progression with the first term a equals to 3 and the common difference is equals to 2. Okay, so let's look at this. So, the formula to find common difference is d equals to tn minus tn minus 1. So, for this Example, 3, 5, 7, 9, which is an AP, okay, to get to the next term, we plus 2. So how to get 2 is, we are going to use T2, which is this, this is T2, this is T1, this is T3, and T4. We're going to use T2 minus T1, okay, we get 2. Okay, so to get to the next term, we add 2. So to get from second term to the third term, we add another 2, and so on, okay? So this is an AP, yeah? AP is either plus or minus, okay? So normally we use T2 minus T1 because the numbers are normally smaller, okay? But it also depends on the question, okay? So remember that D is equals to TN minus TN minus 1. To find the n term of an arithmetic progression, we have to memorize this formula. Tn equals to a plus n minus 1 in bracket d. Or Tn equals to a plus n minus 1 d. That's how we memorize it, say it out many, many times, okay? Because in this chapter, most of the questions, you will be using this formula. So Tn stands for nth term, okay? And then a stands for the first term. And then n stands for number of terms. And d stands for common difference. So remember this. Tn equals to a plus n minus 1 d. Let's look at this example. For each of the following arithmetic progressions, find the n term as stated in the bracket. So let's look at a. So negative 12, negative 9, negative 6, and find the ninth term. And for b, it's 1 over 3, negative 1 over 3, negative 1, and find the 15th term. Okay, so for this, I'm going to write down the question first. So negative 12, negative 9, negative 6, and this is ap. Okay? So for this, I'm going to find out what is my a and d before we substitute into the formula of tn equals to a plus n minus 1 d. Okay, so we have to plan our working first. So this is going to be my first term, okay, which is also a. So this is t2 and d t3. Okay, first term, second term, and third term. So I'm going to find out what, what are my a and d. Yeah? So a is the first term, so negative 12. And then d will be t2 minus t1, which is negative 9 minus negative 12, okay? So negative 9 plus 12 will get equals to 3, okay? So once we get our a and d, we substitute into the tn formula. So tn is equals to a plus n minus 1d, okay? So to find t9, okay, it's actually a plus 8d. Okay, we can straight away write like that first and then we substitute the values of a and d into the formula. So a is equals to negative 12, okay? And then d is equals to 3. So let's solve this. Negative 12 plus 24 and the answer is equals to 12, okay? Now let's solve for b. Okay, so for b, the question is 1 over 3, negative 1 over 3, negative 1, and so on, okay? So this is also AP. So next is, I'm going to label this as T1, T2, and T3, okay? So next, we're going to find out what are the A and D values. So A is equals to 1 over 3, okay? And D is equals to, I'm going to use T2 minus T1, 
Okay, so it's equals to negative 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3. So we get negative 2 over 3. Okay, and then next, we're going to substitute into the TN formula. Okay, so TN is equals to A plus N minus 1 D. Okay, so to find T15, which is in the question, to find 15 term, okay, it's going to be A plus 14 D. Okay, after that, we substitute the values of A and D. So A is equals to 1 over 3 plus 14 and then the d is negative 2 over 3 okay so it goes to 1 over 3 then it's minus 28 over 3 so we get negative 27 over 3 and the final answer is negative 9。To find the sum of the first n terms of arithmetic progressions, we use this formula s n is equals to n over 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1d if n, a and d are given in the question. But if the last term is given in the question, we're going to use sn is equals to n over 2 bracket a plus l. So remember these two formulas, okay? Let's look at this example. Find the sum of arithmetic progression, negative 23, negative 17, negative 11, which has 17 terms, means you're going to find s17. Okay, then B has two n terms, means we're going to find S2n in terms of n, and the last term is 121. Okay, we're going to use the Sn formula with the L inside the formula. Okay, so the first thing is to look at the progression and find the values of A and D. So this is T1, T2, and T3. So our A is the first term, which is negative 23, and our D, the common difference is T2 minus T1, which is negative 17 minus negative 23. So we'll get 6. Okay, we're going to use this A and D for all the questions A, B, and C. So let's solve for A. Okay, so for A, we're going to use the Sn formula, which is Sn equals to n over 2, and 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay, remember to memorize this formula by heart. Okay, so to find S17, we're going to substitute the values of n, a, and d. So the n is 17, so 17 over 2. Okay, so 2 times, so the a value is negative 23, and then plus n minus 1, and d is 6. Okay, so it's equals to 17 over 2, this is negative 46, plus, okay, this n we replace with 17, eh? here, we replace with 17, okay, so 17 minus 1 is 16, 16 times 6 is 96, so 96, okay. So 17 over 2, negative 46 plus 96, we get 50, positive 50. Okay, and then we use the calculator and calculate. So 50 times 17 over 2, we'll get 425. So the answer is 425. Okay, so let's solve for B. Eh? Let's solve for B. So for B, we're going to find S2N. Okay. So we're going to substitute 2n into all the n in the formula. So it'll be 2n over 2, okay? And then 2a, a is negative 23, okay? Plus, so 2n minus 1 and d is equal to 6. So we're going to expand it. So this 2 and 2 we can cancel off, so we get n. Then inside the bracket we have negative 46, okay? Then plus 12n minus 6, okay? So we're going to simplify this. So we have n, 12n, so negative 46 minus 6, we get minus 52. Okay, so that's the answer for B. Let's solve for C. So for C, the last term is 121, which means that we're going to solve, put into sub the values into Sn equals to, okay, n over 2, a plus l. Okay, because the last term is given, and the last term is 121. So we're going to substitute, okay, the a and l values into the formula. So A is negative 23 and L is 121, okay? So we're going to solve this and your answer will be in terms of N, okay? Because the N is unknown. So 121 minus 23 will get 98. So 98, then you divide it by 2, you get 49, okay? So therefore, the final answer is 49N. There's another important formula that every student have to know, okay? That is, to find the Tn, we can use this formula, which is Tn equals to Sn minus Sn minus 1, okay? For example, 
to find T6. Okay, we're going to use S6 minus S5. Okay, because 6 minus 1 is 5. Okay, let me choose a bigger number. Let's say T48. Okay, to find T48, okay, which is the 48th term, we're going to use S48 minus S47. Okay, let me try and use a bigger one. Let's say T100. So how to find? Uh, we're going to use S100. Okay, so S100 minus S99. Okay, so S99. Okay, so this normally we use this formula for questions whereby the Sn is given to you and we require you to find the nth term. Let's look at the following example. Let's look at this example. Given the sum of AP, Sn is equal to 2n squared minus 5n. So find A, the first term, B, find the nth term, and C, find the sum of the fourth term to the eighth term. So let's solve this. Okay, so we're going to use this formula. Okay, we're not going to use the Sn formula that we learned earlier because for this question, the Sn is given to you. So we have to use whatever that is given in the question. Okay, so to find the first term, so we know that our first term is equal to T1 and T1 is equal to S1. Okay, so we're going to substitute the n okay, equals to 1. Okay, so it becomes 2 times 1 squared minus 5 times 1. So we get 2 minus 5 is equal to negative 3. So our a is negative 3. Okay, so next to find the ninth term. Okay, so let's find the ninth term. So for b, to find the ninth term, we're going to find okay, t9. So to find t9, we're going to use the formula. Remember the formula t n is equal to s n minus s n minus 1. Okay, so here will be s 9 minus s 8. Okay, so we're going to substitute the 9 into the formula. So 2 times 9 squared minus 5 9. Okay, so this is for s 9. Then minus for s 8, you're going to substitute 8 into the formula. 2 times 8 squared minus 5 8. Okay, so this is for s 8. So let's solve this. So let's calculate this, yeah. So 81 times 2, then minus 45, we get 117 for the first bracket. The next one is 64 times 2, minus 40, we'll get 88. 88, okay? So 117 minus 88, we'll get 29. So it's 29, okay? So that's the answer for B. Okay, let's solve for C, yeah? So for C, the sum of the fourth term to the eighth term. Okay, so I'm going to write it over here. So C, so for this, right? So S8, to find the sum of S, uh, the fourth term to the eighth term, we're going to use S8 minus of the first term, second term, and third term. Okay, which means that we are going to use S8 minus S3. So minus S3, okay? So we're going to find this, yeah? So S8, I'm going to substitute, I'm going to substitute 8 into my N, so 2 times 8 squared minus 5 times 8, okay? This is for S8. And then minus, okay, S3, I'm going to substitute 3 into my N, into the formula, okay, given. So 2, 3 squared minus 5, 3. So this is for S3, okay? So it's equals to, okay, let's calculate this, eh? So 8 squared is 64 times 2 minus 40, we'll get 88. And minus, Okay, so there will be 3 squared is 9 times 2 minus 15, we'll get 3. Okay, so 88 minus 3, we'll get 85. Okay, so it's equal to 85. So that's the answer. So now you have mastered all the basics about arithmetic progressions. It's time to do some partial questions. Stay tuned for my next video, which is SPM partial questions about arithmetic progressions from year 2010 to year 2019, which is 10 years, coming up soon. Bye!